Weijia, I want to start with you. There was a lot, of course, that the president said, but a lot of it was also about sort of inflation and, and the prices that people are seeing at stores and gas prices. What's the latest on the president's plan to try to give Americans some relief? So this was really important for the president on his to-do list for the State of the Union. I think he really wanted to connect with people to let them know that, hey, I get it. I understand your pain, and here's what we're going to do to get out of it. Um, he also had to reset uh, the page when it came to his domestic agenda and, of course, turning the page toward a new chapter of COVID, all of which he did, I think, successfully, as reflected in the approval numbers that we saw after. The problem, Yamish, is that the economic plans that he laid out, those take time. And time is something right now that he does not have when you're talking about Americans who are looking for more immediate relief um, to pay their bills, to deal with these rising costs. But the administration said that we didn't get into this um, situation overnight, and it is going to take time. So he has um, promised, as an example, uh, to launch a program to make a lot more products here in the U.S. Um, he continues to talk about some of the measures that he tried to pass before in Build Back Better um, that would make it easier for families to make ends meet, for example, a paid parental leave or expanded child care. But again, that's going to take Congress. Um, to come together, which, again, will take time. And right. so I think right now he's basking in this glow of after the speech, but we'll have to wait to see if Americans are willing to give him that time for those policies to, to have an impact. 